All right, today we're going to be playing Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for Nintendo GameCube, which is the slightly upgraded version of Sonic Adventure 2 for Sega Dreamcast. And the main difference between the two is the battle version has a better two-player mode, a few graphics were updated, a few glitches were fixed, and they overhauled the Chow Garden system, but you don't care about that, you just want to see me play the game, so let's do it. All right, one-player mode... There's story mode, which, as the name implies, is the story. And uh, I've already beaten this, as anybody probably could have guessed. But you have hero mode, dark mode, and last story. And uh, if you've already beaten it, you can go back and watch the cutscenes and play through the story again. And uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cherry pick some levels in stage select. But first, I'm going to tell you that there's also boss mode. Where you can go through and play the boss battles for each story the whole way through, or all of the bosses if you prefer. There's kart racing, which is uh, similar to Twinkle Circuit in the first game. Only this time you're not in hover cars, you're in actual go-karts. And you can even unlock secret cars and stuff like these, that one. I don't have Tails and Rouge for some reason, I don't know why. But anyway... Uh, just, to, just to cover all bases here before we get into the actual gameplay, there's Extra, which has the tutorial, your emblems, and the sound test. And there's options where you can go in and, like, change different stuff. And uh, one of my favorite things to change is the theme. Of course, you have Sonic, Knuckles, Tails, Amy, and I've unlocked Omo Chow, which is my theme of choice. And if you don't like it, I don't give a fuck. There's the Secretary Lady, Eggman, Ruse, Shadow, and I think there's a couple more that I don't care about. But anyway, I just wanted to cover that to get it out of the way, because once I get playing this game, I don't want to stop. Stage select, here we go. <clears throat> once you've played all the stages, you can go back and play the different missions and stuff. And this is also how you can get to Chow World without playing a level and getting the Chow Key. And there's also this mystery level, which I'll save for the end. Of course, if you're watching this, and then you might already know that this game's been out for, oh, 13 years, and uh, you already know what that is. But for those of you that don't know, there's a little surprise for the end. And I'm just going to arbitrarily pick a level to start with. Uh, you know what? Let's just go with City Escape. It's the first level in the game, if you play the hero story first. So let's just play that one so we can see it. All right, here we go. And you start out on uh, this piece of the helicopter, I think is what that is. Which, if you watch the opening cutscene to this game, uh, Sonic was captured by the military because he was mistaken for someone else. And he jumps out of a helicopter and all that stuff. But you don't care about the story, no. You just want to see me play the game and how many times I'm going to fuck this up. Here we go. We're streetboarding on a helicopter panel, and I totally didn't hit that ramp the right way because I wanted to get that stuff up there. But oh well, here we go. We're going to do this, and we're going to do it right. All right. Yeah, there we go. That's kind of what I wanted to do. There we go. Yeah, take out a streetcar with your open body. There we go. That's right. You die. Here we go. Oh, yeah, inside of the gun robots are these things called chaos drives. Which you can give to your chow to make it more powerful or something like that. Yeah, look at that, son! Alright, here we go. You die! Alright, there's different moves. There's the standard homing attack. Um, later on, you can get the bounce bracelet and do the bounce attack. There's the flame ring that lets you turn into fire. Uh, the magic hands, which I'll show you what that does here in a second. Uh, as soon as I get an enemy, but uh, if you've seen Sonic shorts, it tells you that they're useless and to ignore them. Which, for the most part, is true, but I have used them on a couple of occasions. Um, here we go. They do this. They turn your enemy into a ball and you can throw it. Which um, is kind of one of the dumbest moves in video game history, but whatever. Here we go. We're running down the hill now. This is how you Sonic. We don't need a board. We just want to run. That's right. Here we go. Down the rail. 
I'm trying to think of what other moves he has. Of course, there's the light dash, which lets him dart along rings like that. There we go. You know. All the stuff that we established in the first game. And uh, if you saw us do the video where Kyle tried to play that, you'll know how not to play that game. And I'm not as awesome at this game as I am at that one. That's why I'm just doing this one myself. Here we go. Running down the wall. There we go. And I hate these things because I always fuck this up. Like, what sadistic motherfucker came up with these things? Anyway, go up the fucking rail. Okay. Can I land on it? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. And there's actually a couple parts in this game where you kind of need to do that. Invincibility, bitches! There we go. This is how you Sonic. That's right. I'm invincible now, motherfuckers, and there ain't nobody gonna stop me. I can do this. I still know how it's done. I even got me a new pair of shoes. That's right. I can grind down them narrow rails like nobody's business. That's right. They, for some reason, they got a uh, tie-in with soap shoes. And apparently people didn't like that for some reason. How dare you change his shoes? That's part of what makes him Sonic. It's like they gave, like when they gave him green eyes, people bitched about that. Like, who cares what color his fucking eyes are? And like for Sonic Boom, they made his arms blue, and people are all bent out of shape about that. I mean, yeah, it doesn't quite look right, but who cares? You know, maybe he just got tired of looking like he had naked arms. I don't know. Here we go, goal ring. All right, there we go. First level of the game, easy as shit, as you just saw. There we go, what did I get? A C! Again with the Cs! What is it with me getting a C? Like, why? Why? Is that all I'm good for? I don't I don't understand this. That's like I don't I don't do this on purpose. No. That's just how all the better I could do. I I, I don't know. Alright, let's try a different kind of level. Um Sonic and Shadows games both play the same, by the way. Let's do a Tails level so you can see how those play. And Tails and Eggman's levels play pretty much the same. I'm going to go with Hidden Base here because why not? We went from Stage 1 to Stage 10, so this one's a little tougher, I guess. I don't know. I never thought these were that hard. Yeah. For some reason, Tails and Eggman are in these machines you drive around, and they function very similarly to E-102 Gamma from the first game. It's run around and shoot, and you can hover, and um, blow stuff up, and that's pretty much what it's all about. You know, everybody likes to blow shit up, right? Fuck you, Obo Chow. You die. There we go. Nobody cares about you. So here we go, gonna blow up the dynamite. And all these, uh, Really crumbly walls that reveal where we're supposed to go, as if it weren't, you know, pretty obvious that, like in every 3D Sonic game, you just go forward. But, you know, whatever. Boom, boom, here we go. Blowing up them walls. Don't want to fall in that sand, because sand equals death, as we all know. Accursed evil sand. Alright, here we go. Yeah, this is like almost too easy in a way. And if I sound like I'm talking a lot louder than usual, it's because for some reason my GameCube is really fucking loud. And the way my setup is, I don't really have much volume control over my headphones. So right now I am like getting serious hearing damage from doing this, but you know, why not? I'm taking the shortcut way because I'm a professional. There we go. There was some power up there at some point. I think it might have been the Mystic Melody. I don't remember. Mystic Melody does different things when you go to these shrines and push it. Like, in this case, it just opens the door. Sometimes it transports you somewhere. How did I open the Chow box through a wall? You know what? I'm not going to go to Chow World yet. I want to save that for later. Here we go. Up here, very weird looking statues, because actually pretty much all statues creep me out, and I don't know why. 
I guess it's because they're just lifeless bodies that stare back at you. Or maybe that's just a me thing. I don't know. Here we go! I got me a robot that I could drive around, Sonic. Isn't that cool? I think it makes you look stupid as hell. Why don't you just fly around like you normally do, son? But I like this robot! At least that's how I think the exchange went whenever Sonic first found out about that thing. Pretty sure. Okay, see if I can remember how to get through the maze on the first try. Man, that is creepy. Alright, there we go. Got Ah, oh, that's how you do it. First try every time. That's right. Okay, I just want to point something out. I thought those knobby knees were a pair of tits at first. Don't ask me why. Okay, there we go. We got it. Destroy the Kiki! I said destroy the Kiki. There we go. Destroy the crate. Alright. I, I, I think I'm just too pro for this game. That's right. I don't think it's possible for me to fuck up. Yet. Alright. Okay, I kind of fucked up there, but I'm not dead yet. Alright, there we go. Blowing up the walls. Eh, I don't want to go over there. I want to go up here. There we go. These animals come from, like, uh, different robots and stuff. And uh, you can use those to give to your child, too. I can't see what I'm doing. Where the fuck am I? Okay, there we go. I got through that blind. That's how awesome I am at this game. I couldn't even see what the hell I was doing, and I still made it. There we go. Go, Rank Sun! There we go. That's right. Victory dance in a robot machine type thing. There we go. What did I get this time? Let me guess. I bet it's a C. Oh my god, I got a B that time. Holy shit, I got a B. I cannot believe it. I've improved. Who knows, I might get an A at some point. Because as you can see, at one point I got A's. Most of those were due to action replay, but I got A's. Alright, and last but not least, there's Knuckles and Rouge's levels, which work just like Knuckles' levels in the first game, so I'm going to play Rouge this time, because fuck it, I can. Alright. Plus, I know all of you perverts out there want to see her take old bitties, so here we go! There they are. Alright, let's get this out of the way. That's right. Alright, there we go. Got that out of the way for all of you perverts out there. Alright, here we go. And there's the radar at the bottom, and one little difference they made this time around is you now got to find them in order. It, like, just to explain, in the first game, you don't have to find them in order in this game. You do. Although, I, there have been times where... Why can't I grab that? What in the absolute fuck? There we go. And I died. Why? Why? Why die? Why? Like, seriously, this is, this is the first... All right, anyway, um, what was I babbling about? Right, there have been occasions where I just found the emerald just randomly there. Like, oh, okay, didn't need a radar, apparently. Now, who needs that shit? Yeah, that happened to me a couple of times. Sorry, here we go. I want to ride a turtle. There we go, riding a turtle. Oh, shit, I'm right on top of one. So it's around here somewhere. There it is, it's right under there. Oh, yeah, Knuckles and Rouge could swim. In case I haven't already made that obvious. Yeah, they swim. B button goes down. A button goes up. And you just kind of move around. La 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 la. Simmer and a turtle. Okay, there we go. I think I made my point there. And another cool thing, you know. They can do cheek kicks, knuckles punches. Uh, they can do a spiral move. There we go. Oh, I found it. Well, I was going to show you one more thing, but that thing above her eye is a treasure scope, which lets you see hidden objects, and Knuckles has a pair of sunglasses that do the same thing. So, uh, yeah. Another B. Well, it, it's not a C. Not quite an A, but it's not a C, so we're doing better. All right. Um, <laughs> now, let's do a shadow stage. Since we did a Sonic stage, I'll do a shadow stage. Why the hell not? There we go. And I'm just bouncing around. I'm not doing these in any particular order. 
But uh, one interesting thing about this particular level, which is just by pure kawinky dink that I picked this one. Uh, apparently this was going to be Sonic's level originally, but they realized, oh, we forgot to give our new character levels. So they gave him this one. So yeah, that's what happened. There we go. Shadow can't do the magic hand move. That's like the only move that, besides the bouncy thing, that he can't do that Sonic can do. So yeah. Of course, of course, you know, Shadow just doesn't need such things. You know, he gets along fine without it. And I think the dark levels are supposed to be a little bit harder by comparison, so I guess that's why they didn't give him as many moves. Although Eggman's machine does have armor that Tails doesn't, so I don't know. Quite frankly, I'm just blowing smoke out of my ass and I really don't know what I'm talking about, just like with everything else that I do. So, you know, whatever. Here we go. In the sky. Ever so majestic. There we go. Come on. What is this? Hurry up. No, don't die, don't die. Don't. Okay, I didn't die. That's good. I'm usually a lot better at this. All right. Okay, up, up, up. I said up. What? What is it with, like, the Sonic games and the difficulty with the direction of up? I will never understand this. Okay, here we go. There we go. We got this. This is a really short level. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but there we go. We got a shadow level out of the way. There we go. Doing his little I don't give a shit about anybody or anything pose. There we go. Na -na 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 -na. What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? Again with the C's! Why the C's? I don't want C's. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's do an Eggman level just because. And let's do Cosmic Wall. Because this was the first time I ever got an A in this game. Many, 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 many years ago. And I just thought it was awesome that I got an A at something. So here we go. Showing no mercy and blowing shit up as Dr. Eggman. I will destroy them all! Nothing will stand in my way. <laughs> there we go. We got this shit. All right. All right. Up. Oh, I, d I just realized I didn't give Rouge a voice yet. I need, I need to do that. Um, I'll do that later. Okay. I have voices for all the other characters in this game. She's the only one I've never given one. Okay. That's right. Motherfucker! Alright, here we go. You die! Up. Why are there just random pyramids everywhere? Like, th like th this isn't even the desert. There's desert levels in this game, yet they put the pyramids in space. Like, what the fuck? Okay. Come on, go up. Again with the not up. I want up. There we go. There we go. Destroy the artificial chaos things. Destroy you. There we go. I'm getting better at this, I promise. I'm a good gamer. I know how to do this. <laughs> right, what is that? I want that. Give me that. Five rings. Okay, well... It's better than nothing. There's ten. All right. Oh yeah, you also have a whistle move, which does two functions. It lets you get animals out of pipes, and in the chow garden, it's a way to call your chow to come. Oh, you son of a fucking whore! Okay, die, die. There we go. I want to show you guys a chow garden here in a little bit, but first I want to get through this shit without being brutally myrtleized. There we go. Die, 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 die! Die, 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 die! Bunny rabbit. There we go. There we go. Up. Up. I'm just firing in case there's more of those annoying pyramids. Alright, no, we're just gonna drop right past all this shit. Because I just don't give a fuck. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Up. Touch that. 
All right, it's time for All Out War. Time to just blow up everything in our path. There we go. Blow up the meteors and the gun robots and everything else. Because not a single fuck was given that day. That's right. You die, you die, you die, you die, you die, 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 die. All right, here we go. More, more destruction, death, explosions, mayhem, carnage, all of the above. Here we go. Blow up, blow up, die, 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 die. No, I don't want to die. I want them to die. Don't die. Here we go. Yep, you explode, explode, more explosions. Needs more explosions. Here we go. I'm just firing all willy nilly. That's how you do it. Blow up, blow up, blow up. There we go. I love the lower gravity in this level because I can go higher places, move on to greater things. You die, blow up. There we go. I destroyed it while I was on it. I don't know if that was a good strategy or not, but I did that and you saw it. There we go. Up. Up. Oop. Death trap. All right. And down. Fuck. I needs more rings or I'm going to perma die. No. Or health boost. That helps too. All right. All right. There's some rings. There we go. We got a ring. That's all we need. That's all you ever need. Up. Watch out for spike balls and explodies. There we go. Up. Fucking go up. Yeah. There we go. Why is up so hard? Up should not be hard. All right. We're getting into yellow ones now. That probably means shit's about to get harder. Okay. Oh, I need to touch that. I can't just shoot that. I need to touch that. Okay. I knew that. I'm a professional. I knew that. Fuck. All right. Just got to time this shit right. There we go. Got it, got it, got it. We didn't need that switch anyway. Fuck that switch. Okay. Can we do up? Come on, Eggman. Do up. Very good! Ah! Uh, uh, uh. Got it. Okay. Die, 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 die. Go up! There we go. I should just make a collab video. Nate fails at going up. Cause that happens a lot for some reason. Explode, explode, explode. There we go. Now I gotta go over here because I do. I want that. Give me that. There we go. We got that. No, 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 no. No, no, no. There we go. Bouncy. Here we go. This way. There we go. We got it. Bouncy. Explosions. Needs more explosions. Explode! There we go. We got it. Up here. Up here. More pyramids! I'm going to start hating pyramids. Okay. Give me that. There we go. Up and over and around and through. Where am I going? Over here. Alright. Boing. I'm pretty sure that Sonic Team got no input from NASA as to how space works. Just, just saying. I don't think that was ever factored in. Because I'm pretty sure this is not how space works. Alright. Alright, got it, got it, got it. Alright. Alright. More explosions and shooting. Here we go. Hold on to your seats, son. Alright. Explode, explode, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Gonna explode into outer space. Yeah. There's a part coming up where I have to shoot a thing. I know it. That's how this stuff always works. It's coming up. I can feel it. Feel it in my bones. Yeah, that's right. This is so therapeutic, just destroying things. Oh, ominous tunnel, you know what that means. Oh shit, I'm getting chased by a thing that I need to destroy. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 
Oh shit. Oh, got one. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Got two, three. Okay, here we go. Come on. Got more. Uh, blow it. Uh, you son of a bitch. Oh well. I made it to the goal ring anyway. That's all right. We didn't quite do it right, but we got it. That's all right. We're there. Eggman survived, and that's all we care about. All right. Hey, what did I tell you, motherfuckers? Yeah! All right. First A I ever got, and it will always be an A. Mm. All right. And just to be thorough, since we've done everybody else, let's do a Knuckles level. But I'm not going to hunt for emeralds this time. I'm going to explain that there are other missions. Second mission is you got to collect 100 rings. Third mission is find the lost chow, and this applies to the other levels too, by the way. Uh, fourth mission is a time trial. And the fifth mission is hard mode. I'm going to do find the lost chow just to show you how that works. Because the other ones are kind of self-explanatory. Get rings. Don't take so long. The level's harder. Anyway, find the lost chow. This is where the mystic melody comes into play a lot of times, because those uh, shrines um, that you find where you use it can unlock different paths and stuff. But I've done this so many times that I actually know where the Lost Chow is in this level. But here we go. Shrine. And here's another shrine that I need to use. I didn't want to dig. I want a shrine. There we go. Play that funky music. There we go. Into the orb of mystery. There he is! Isn't he cute? There we go. We found him. That's right. Happy Chow bouncing slightly off screen. Oh, we got a B. That's not bad. All right. There we go. That's how Find the Lost Chow works. You figure out where it is, and you find it. There. Pretty basic. All right. You know what? Screw it. Let's go on to Chow World just so you can get an idea how that works. And who am I going to be? Who am I going to be? Rouge, since I didn't give her a voice yet. <coughs> All right. Uh, what voice do I give Rouge? Because everybody else has one. Oh, I got it. All right, let's start out with the basic chow garden, which is the one you get by default. And I've got a bunch of chow. I mean, I have a shit ton of chow. Of every shape, size, color, and every stuff. Oh, that one looks like Sonic. Oh, you're so adorable. Oh, I'm, I'm going to name you Horatio. Give me a little Horatio. There you go. Oh, you're so adorable. Oh, I just want to pinch your chubby little cheeks. All right. There, that's my Rouge voice. For now, anyway. But yeah, this is pretty much it. There's Chow in here. You pet them. You pick them up. Um, you feed them. Ooh. I have one that's about to do a thing. This one's going to do a thing. Let's see. Here we go. He's watering the tree. Here we go. That's a good little chow. Trees need taken care of. There we go. Doing his little happy tree dance. There we go. And now he's not sure about what he just did. And now he's going to admire his work. Very good. Most excellent. All right, let's feed one of these little shits. Here we go. Uh... I'm going to feed you because you're right there. Yes, I named him Plinko, and I don't care what anybody says. There we go. Uh, I'm going to feed you. There we go. That's Sven. Yeah, that's right. Uh, here, we can give an animal to a chow. Uh, who are we going to give it? Let's give it to this chow. There we go. He's so happy. Let's give him a bunny rabbit. There you go. Bunny rabbit. If that cow... Cow? Chow there is... Is a chaos chow, is what I was trying to say. If you raise a chow and it dies twice but comes back to life, and then you give it one of every animal and some shit like that, it turns into a chaos chow which never dies and is super, super, super awesome. And as you can see, I've action replayed some of these guys too because I have no shame. Anyway, here's the chaos drives I talked about before, and I'm going to give one to Lamont. There we go. They each do different things. There's one for Tyrone. There we go, Tyrone. Uh, 
purple ones are flying. I think the yellow ones are swimming. Red ones are power. Green one is running. Uh, I don't want to pick you up. I want to pick Sarah. Let's give a purple one to this guy because I can. Let's give him a red one too. There you go. Red one for Ray. Also known as Horatio. There we go. Here. He's saying hi. Ooh, somebody's playing maracas. I don't know if you guys can hear that because I don't know how loud I'll turn the sound. Ooh, he's playing maracas. Ooh, he could play a trumpet. Yeah, they can learn how to do stuff too. You can take them to Chow Kindergarten and teach them how to do things. Much like this. I'm not sure what song they're playing right now. But you know what? Whatever. You know, we can work with this. Oh, isn't that adorable? Oh, he's got the little maracas, and this one over here's got a trumpet. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, I want to take a picture and post this on Instagram. This is so adorable. He's just kind of waving high. <clears throat> now he's bored. He's like, this isn't interesting at all. All right. There we go, and they're done. I will reward them for their musical talent. There we go. Ooh, this is my awesome pumpkin head chow. Come back here. Yes, it is Jack the Pumpkin King. I know he doesn't look anything like Jack Skellington, but whatever. All right, anyway, you can raise your chow hero or dark. If you use a hero character or hero fruit, you can raise a hero chow, dark character or dark fruit which I'll explain how you acquire those here in a minute. You can raise your chow dark, as I was saying. But anyway, this is my hero garden, and they're all blue. Because I felt like making them all blue, and not only are they all blue, they all have those big smiley faces. Yeah. Because I felt like it. I was really bored when I came up with this. I used to be really into this. Now, not so much. Oh yeah, there is one black chow in here. That is all I have to say about that. Draw your own conclusions. They're probably going to be wrong. Anyway, and let's just go check out the dark garden just to be thorough. This is my red garden. Because, yeah. And there is one lonely gray chow in here. And somebody was just crying. I think it was this guy. Which means he's probably hungry. So let's feed him because, you know, we can. Oh, you poor little thing, you must be starving. There you go. That's much better. There you go. Eat up, my little pumpkin. There you go. Oh, yeah, and I also made almost every chow in this garden a ghost. That's why they have no feet. Oh, there's a dark chaos chow. I forgot to show you the hero one. I'll show you that in a little bit. There you go. There's meats, my dark chaos chow. You just tripped and you have no feet. How the fuck do you trip when you have no feet? That doesn't make sense. All right, then. Yeah, there we go. Lake of blood. All right, let's go back up to the hero garden for a minute because I forgot to show you what the hero chaos chow looks like. All right, up here, in here. All right. Got to be thorough here. Where is it? 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 There he is. There we go. This is Charles. He's solid blue. I'll show you what a normal one looks like. But yeah, that's a Hero Chaos Chow. And I think I have one in my other memory card, which I will access by using this Game Boy Advance thing, which you can use to put your Chow into your Game Boy Advance and take it in a game of uh, Tiny Chow Garden. Uh, in the Dreamcast one, you could use the VMU for the memory card and take it in a game called Chow Adventure. But anyway, let's look at some of my other Chow. Okay, there we go. That's what a normal Chaos Chow looks like. Um, I don't have a hero one in there. Fuck. All right, well, <clears throat> that one must be doing something. All right. Well, a hero one just looks like a normal one, except it's got pink highlights and stuff. So, uh, picture that chow with that color scheme, but pink at the end of its whatever those things are on its head. All right, anyway, you get the idea. 
All right, let's get out of here, and I'll show you the Chow Kindergarten just so we can get out of Chow World, because this is already running a little longer than I thought it was going to. But here we go. Because there is one last thing I want to show you guys in this game, at least as far as one-player mode's concerned. Anyway, here's Chow Kindergarten. Skip the running animation. In here, you can go into the classroom and drop off your Chow and teach it how to do different things. Like here, if I had a Chow with me, I could drop it off to learn symbols. It changes. It's random. Anyway, here is the principal's office, which is where you go in to read up on how raising chow works. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can read about. And, uh, yeah, I don't care about that right now. If you want to do this yourself, you can. It's not that hard. Here's the health center where you can take your chow and see if there's something wrong with it or if it's, like, sneezing. or Yeah, chow can get sick if it, like, sneeze or cough or something you bring in here and, and uh, get it fixed up and you can also see your chow stats I don't have a chow with me so I can't show you over here is the dumbest part of the chow kindergarten the fortune telling house this stupid gypsy chow names your chow and after it gives you about 37 stupid names you can name it yourself in Sonic Adventure DX which came out after this game but it's actually a remake of the first game Anyway, they just gave you an option in the Chow Transporter to name your Chow, and that made a lot more sense. But anyway, here's the part that I come in here the most for, and that's the black market. This is where you buy stuff for your Chow and your Chow Gardens. Anything from eggs to... There's the Hero Fruit I was talking about. Chow Fruit boosts up its skill levels, and there's different ones. Seeds, and... These things here, like the bucket, the box, and that... Those are actually hats. I didn't know that at first. Then I actually bothered to read the tutorial and found out that those are hats. Your chow can wear a bag on its head, a flower pot, a box, a bucket. You can buy it a normal hat. And then the mushroom is just something you can feed it with. But anyway, that's a, the gist of chow world. I'm not going to go into a full-blown chow world tutorial here. This is just kind of the cover-all basis thing. Anyway, like I said, there was one last thing with this game that I wanted to show you guys. And I'm going to do it right now. Once you get all the emblems and all the A's and all that happy horse shit, you can unlock Green Hill Zone, which, as everybody knows, was the first ever, ever, ever Sonic level. But now it's all 3 d -ified. There it is. Good old Green Hill Zone. And the reason they... I died. The reason they included that in this game is because Sonic Adventure 2 came out for Sonic's 10th anniversary. Considering that we have already passed the 20th anniversary three years ago, that's telling you something. But anyway, here it is. 3D Green Hill Zone in all its glory. They redid the music, which is probably muted because I'm pretty sure that this is copyrighted. As dumb as that is, and even though I'm technically reviewing it, someone might have a problem with that. So, this will probably be muted, unfortunately. But I'm sure it's elsewhere on YouTube, or better yet, just get this game and play it yourself and listen to it, because that's what all good YouTube gamers should encourage. It should encourage you to play the game yourself and experience all of this wonder firsthand. Anyway, here we go. Yeah, this is, this is the Green Hill Zone we all know. It's just what it would look like if it was, you know, 3D and had turns in it and stuff. And I think this part only actually covers Act 1. I don't think it covers Act 2 or 3. I forget where to go. Over here! I know how to Sonic! There we go. That's right. There we go. Ah, this feels like good old times right here. Wait a minute, that's not a capsule? What the hell is that? I don't want that. Oh, all right, here we go. All right, I want, I can steal Green Hills. That's right. I'm still the same Sonic you all remember. I just lost some weight and grew my hair out a bit. And now I wear green contact lenses so I can see what the fuck I'm doing. That's right. Again with the C's! Alright, well, in a nutshell, that is Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. There's a lot of levels in this game. There's like 30 levels plus Cannon's Core. You know, 
there's a lot of replay value to this because you can go back and do all the missions. And as I like to do, I like to uh, see what stuff that you can't do. But yeah, you know, you get a copy of this one, pick it up and play it. And uh, just, you know what, I said that was going to be the last thing. But here's a little bonus. I'm going to do a kart race. And I'm going to do it as Knuckles in his alternate car, because fuck it. All right. This is a little bonus I'm throwing in. I was going to make Green Hill Zone the last thing, but fuck it. I'm already 40 minutes into this, so what the hell. Here we go. A little kart race, just for a little added bonus. And let's see if I can actually win. There we go. We got this. Tails and Rouge out in front. The, by the way, Tails and Rouge have driving levels for some reason. Yeah. And I'm not going to show you those since I'm showing you this, but the driving levels work pretty much the same way as this, and I'm actually in first place. I don't know how long I'll stay in first place, but I'm in first place. And it's only a three-lap race, you know, nothing fancy. And unlike the Twinkle Kart levels in the first game, this one there's actually some competition. Like in those, you just drive around and see what, how good of a time you can get, and there was no point in playing them. Here, you can actually race. So I actually like this one better. But uh, one thing about this, it's better with two players. like Because then there's actually some uh, challenge to this. And maybe someday, if I can get someone who's willing to play this with me, I'll do this in two-player mode, and we'll just make a thing of it. So there might be a revisit video for this game. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to win in my Knuckles car, which I'm sure is supposed to look like something, I'm just not sure what. Like Eggman's car looks like Eggman, Sonic's car kind of looks like Sonic, y you get the idea. This doesn't really look much like Knuckles to me, unless it's supposed to be his fist, I'm not really sure. You know. Because as we all know by now, Knuckles loves fisting. That's right. There's a little fun fact for you. Here we go. Alright, nice and simple. I'm going to win, because I win at everything, as we all know. Or not. Here we go! We're going to do this. Driving in a Sonic game, another thing that seems to make people's heads explode. It's like, <gasps> driving in a Sonic game? How dare they? You know, get over it. You know, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, did I win? I think I won. I won. I won. Almost didn't win. Because I decided to take that little speed booster off to the side that I really didn't need to do. But I won. That's right. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That was my best time, actually. That's awesome. All right. Okay, there was a little added bonus. And I'm not going to do the boss stages because I don't feel like it. All right. Let's go ahead and back out of there. And I'm going to call that one a playthrough. And that was Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for Nintendo GameCube. Another favorite game of mine. I don't like it as much as Sonic Adventure DX, but it's still a good game. So pick it up and play it for yourself. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.